Today, I'm going to show you how to install Code Llama, which is the brand new coding assistant large language model by Meta trained on top of Llama 2. And I'm going to show you how to install it in a cloud GPU setting so that you can run even the largest versions of it. And the best part, this is going to be the Wizard LM fine tuned version, which just beat GPT-4 and human eval. I made a video directly testing Code Llama versus GPT-4, and it did extremely well. I did not expect an open source coding model to do this well against GPT-4 already, but here we are. So I'm going to show you how to install it. Let's go. So today we're going to be installing the Blokes Wizard Coder Python 13b version 1.0 quantized version. And because we're using a cloud GPU, we can actually fit a much larger version. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use this version. But you can easily install the 70 billion parameter version and get the best results. So if you don't already have a RunPod account, go ahead and sign up for RunPod. It's runpod.io. I'll drop a link in the description, which will have my affiliate link. Thank you in advance. So from this page, you're going to go ahead and click on secure cloud, scroll down. These are the latest generation GPUs. We don't even need those. We can get the cheaper one, the RTX A6000, which has 48 gigabytes of VRAM and it's 79 cents per hour. So go ahead and click deploy. And then we're going to have this template, the bloke local LLMs one click UI. And basically what that does is it gets text generation web UI already set up in this environment for us. We don't need to do anything. It's so simple. I'll also drop a link link to that template in the description below and then click continue deploy from here go ahead and click my pods and it's going to take a few seconds to load up and we can actually see it loading up right here all right it's done now we're going to click this connect button and we're going to connect to http service port 7860 now if you do need to do anything in the terminal you go ahead and click this button but we won't need to so go ahead and click and now we have text generation web ui already installed it couldn't be easier so the next thing we're going to do is click on over to this model tab. And now we need to download the model. So switch back to the blokes page and we're going to click this little copy button next to the name of the model. Now, again, if you click into the blokes page, you can see all the different models he has. And if you type wizard coder, you can see all of the different wizard coder models that are fine tuned versions of code llama. And the best part, you can actually grab an unquantized version because we have a cloud GPU that we're using and you're going to download it the same way every time. So switch back to text generation web UI. You're going to paste in that model name right here and then click download. Now this will take a little while. These are large files generally. All right, it's done. Then we're going to click this little refresh button right here, which is going to load all the models that we downloaded into this dropdown. We go ahead and click it and then we select the model. By default, it uses auto GPTQ, but we're going to switch that over to X Llama HF. And here you can select your max sequence length, which is the context window. And Code Llama was trained on 16K context windows, which is quite large. And apparently it can be fine tuned up to 100K context windows. So play around with that, see what works for you. Then once we do that, we're going to click the load button. And there we go, successfully loaded. Next, we're going to switch over to the parameters tab. Here, you can also set your max new tokens, and we're going to put it at 2048 for now, because that's what we have in the model tab. And I like to set the temperature down to 0.01 the lowest, because this is code and we don't want it to be creative at all. Temperature is how creative the model is going to be. Then we switch over to the default tab, and we're going to be using this prompt template. Below is an instruction that describes a task, write a response response that appropriately completes the request. Instruction, we put our prompt right here, and this is where the response is going to go. So let's test it out once. Write Python code to output numbers 1 to 100, then click generate. And we can tell it's generating because this box will glow orange. And there it is, super fast. And it gave us two examples of how to do it. Absolutely amazing. And that's it. And if you want to format it because these are formatted, you can go to the markdown tab and then click render. And now we can actually just grab this code like it is. Now, when you're done, this is really, really important. You want to come here and you want to click stop, but that's not enough. Just clicking stop is going to save all the stuff you downloaded, but it's going to turn off the machine. When you want to use it again, you can simply click play. However, if you just stop it, you're going to be charged. It's a lot less than running the GPU, but you're still going to get charged. To stop it completely, you're going to want to click this terminate button right here and then click yes. And we're done. Now you know how to install Code Llama on a cloud GPU using RunPod. You can do it incredibly fast. It's easy and you can grab the biggest models, even the uncle quantized versions. If you liked this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.